Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Eats. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement. No reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 29 This is the thing that you shall do to them to make them holy, to minister me in the priest's office. Take one young bull and two rams without the fact, unleavened bread, unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil. You shall make them a fine wheat flour. You shall put them into one basket, and bring them in the basket, with the bowl and the two rams. You shall bring Aaron and his sons to the door of the tent of meeting, and shall wash them with water. You shall take the garments, and put on Aaron the coat, the robe of the ephod, the ephod and the breastplate, and clothe them with a skillfully woven band of the ephod. You shall set the turban on his head, and put the holy ground on the turban. Then you shall take the anointing oil, and pour it on his head, and anoint him. You shall bring his sons, and put coats on them. You shall clothe them with belts, Aaron and his sons, and bind headbands on them, and they shall have the priesthood by perpetual statue. And you shall consecrate Aaron and his sons. You shall bring the bull before the tent of meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the bull. You shall kill the bull before Yahweh, at the door of the tent of meeting. You shall take the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger, and you shall pour out all the blood at the base of the altar. You shall take all the fat that covers the innards, the cover of the liver, the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, and burn them on the altar. But the meat of the bull, and its skin, and its dung, you shall burn with fire outside of the camp. It is a sin offering. You shall also take the one ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. You shall kill the ram, and you shall take its blood and sprinkle it around on the altar. You shall cut the ram into its pieces, and wash its innards and its legs, and put them with its pieces and with its head. You shall burn the whole ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to Yahweh. It is a pleasant aroma. Offering made by fire to Yahweh. You shall take the other ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. Then you shall kill the ram, and take some of its blood, and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aaron, and on the tip of the right ear of his sons, and on the thumb of the right hand, and on the big toe of the right foot, and sprinkle the blood around on the altar. You shall take of the blood that is on the altar, and of the anointing oil and sprinkle it on Aaron, and on his garments, and on his sons, and on the garments of his sons with him. And he shall be made holy, and his garments and his sons, and his sons' garments with him. Also, he shall take some of the ram's fat, the fat tail, the fat that covers the innards, the cover of the liver, the two kidneys, the fat that is on them, and the right fire. For it is a ram of consecration, and one loaf of bread, one cake of boiled bread, and one wafer out of the basket of unleavened bread that is before Yahweh. You shall put all of this in Aaron's hands, and in his son's hands, and shall wave them for a wave offering before Yahweh. You shall take them from their hands, and burn them on the altar of burnt offering, for a pleasant aroma before Yahweh. It is an offering made by fire to Yahweh. You shall take the breast of Aaron's ram of consecration, and wave it for a wave offering before Yahweh and it shall be your portion. You shall sanctify the breast of the wave offering, and the fire of the wave offering, which is waved, 
and which is heaved up of the ram of consecration, even of that which is for Aaron, and of that which is for his sons, and it shall be for Aaron and his sons as their portion for ever from the children of Israel. For it is a wave offering, and it shall be a wave offering from the children of Israel, the sacrifices of their peace offerings, even their wave offering to Yahweh. The holy garments of Aaron shall be for his sons after him, to be anointed in them, and to be consecrated in them. For seven days shall the son who is priest in his place put them on, when he comes into the tent of meeting, to minister in the holy place. You shall take the ram of consecration, and boil its meat in the holy place. Aaron and his sons shall eat the meat of the ram, and the bread that is in the basket, at the door of the tent of meeting. They shall eat those things with which atonement was made, to consecrate and sanctify them, but strangers shall not eat of it, because they are holy. If anything of the meat of the consecration, or of the bread, remains to the morning, then you shall burn the remainder with fire, it shall not be eaten, because it is holy. You shall do so to Aaron, and to his sons, according to all that I have commanded you. You shall consecrate them for seven days. Every day you shall offer the bowl of sin offering for atonement, and you shall cleanse the altar. When you make atonement for it, and you shall anoint it to sanctify it. Seven days you shall make atonement for the altar, and sanctify it, and the altar shall be most holy. Whoever touches the altar shall be holy. Now this is that which you shall offer on the altar. Two lambs, a year old, day by day, continually. The one lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at evening. And with the one lamb, two litres of fine flour, mixed with a litre of beaten oil, and a litre of wine for a drink offering, the other lamb you shall offer at evening. And shall I'll do to it according to the meal offering of the morning and according to its drink offering, for a pleasant aroma. An offering made by fire to Yahweh. It shall be a continual burnt offering throughout your generations, at the door of the tent of meeting before Yahweh, where I will meet with you, to speak there to you. There I will meet with the children of Israel, and the place shall be sanctified by my glory. I will sanctify the tent of meeting and the altar, and also and his sons, I will sanctify to minister to me in the priest's office. I will dwell among the children of Israel, I will be their God. They shall know that I am Yahweh their God, who brought them out of the land of Egypt, that I may dwell among them. I am Yahweh their God.